If you guys can remember, earlier this year, we were able to get our hands on the Realme X50 5G. We thought it was a well-rounded premium mid-range device for having a near flagship performance, and not to mention that it has a smooth 120Hz refresh rate display. But unfortunately, it didn't make it into the country. Fast forward to today, Realme just officially launched its Pro version in the country. What you're seeing now is the Realme X50 Pro 5G. Hey guys, Justin here of Fugatech, and today we'll see what this phone is all about and everything in between. But before anything else, let's quickly check what's in the box. Okay, lifting up the lid, we get the smaller box containing the manuals and the protective jelly case. Setting that aside, we get the phone itself. Let's unwrap it. That looks really nice. Okay, moving on, here's the 65 watts super dart charging adapter, the USB Type-C cable, and the SIM ejector tool. And that's pretty much everything. From the get-go, the Realme X50 Pro radiates this subtle, elegant look. It sports a low-key matte texture, and yes, it's made up of glass. The unit we have is in the moss green color, but it's also available in rust red. The design looks classy, and it creates this subtle color change when light hits it. We like it. Holding the phone, it feels really solid and it's probably by far the most solid Realme devices we've touched. It comes with a heft of 205 grams, which makes it feel more premium. Its rear glass back curves into the metal frame, making it comfortable to hold. However, due to its matte finish, it can be quite slippery, so we recommend using the jelly case included. Also found here at the back are its quad rear camera setup and the Realme branding. Up front, we have the call speaker, the in-display fingerprint scanner, and the notch that houses its dual front cameras. We have the power button on the right side with some yellow accents embedded on it, and you can also find here some pair of antenna bands. Meanwhile, on the left side, we can find the volume keys and another pair of antenna bands. Up top, we get more antenna bands and there's also a noise-canceling microphone. While down below, we have the USB Type-C port, the primary microphone, the dual nano SIM card slot, and the speaker grill. As of today's flagship smartphone standards, this phone doesn't come with a 3.5mm headphone jack. And sadly, we don't get a Type-C to headphone jack adapter in the package. So there's that. Moving on, this Realme X50 Pro 5G sports a 6.44-inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 pixels. And as expected, the screen looks great. The 90Hz refresh rate is buttery smooth and is responsive. You have the option to downgrade to 60Hz and there's also an auto-select option that selects the best refresh rate for an app. And we mostly just used that one. The colors look sharp and vibrant, and the blacks look deep considering that it's an AMOLED display. However, on the downside, since this phone uses an AMOLED panel, it's prone to screen burns. And it's more apparent when using the dark mode, especially on gray backgrounds and is usually found around the notch area. I don't know, maybe it's just our unit. For display customizations, you get screen color temperature, OSIE visual effects for better viewing experience, and improved color reproduction in supported apps such as TikTok. There's also bright HDR video mode, screen color modes, and edge lighting for notification light effects. Which by the way looks awesome. You get to choose three color effects such as neon purple, ocean blue, and amber orange. There's also an option to hide the notch, but you have to do it per app. Audio-wise, it features dual stereo speakers and high-res audio with Dolby Atmos. The audio quality is impressive for a smartphone. It gets loud enough, has the right amount of bass and clarity, and there's only little distortion when the volume is set at max. You can also utilize the sound amplifier to filter ambient noise. It can amplify faint sounds too and even soften loud sounds. It works pretty well. Unfortunately, it works only with wired earphones. Okay, so the Realme X50 Pro 5G runs on Realme UI 2.0 that's based on Android 11. As we often mention in our Realme reviews, Realme UI is one of our favorite skins. Besides having a clean and fluid UI, you get many personalization options, including changing the icon styles, color UI, notification drawer, and even the fingerprint animation, which is cool. We also get an always-on display option with several custom patterns, text, and clock styles to choose from. There's also the smart sidebar that lets you quickly access certain features and apps. Speaking of apps, we get a couple of Realme proprietary apps and Google apps pre-installed and other third-party ones like Facebook, Netflix, Lazada, and Office Suite to name a few. 
out of the 256 gigabytes of internal storage, we get a usable 236.3 gigabytes. Well, there's no expandable storage here if you're wondering. Under the hood, powering the Realme X50 Pro 5G is the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 5G processor coupled with an Adreno 650 GPU, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 gigabytes UFS 3.1 internal storage with Turbo Write. What can I say? The performance of this phone is a no-brainer. Apps launch fast and navigating the UI is very fluid and responsive. Playing graphically intensive games also went smooth and lag-free. We were able to play Wild Rift and PUBG Mobile at the highest possible settings with ease. And it's further enhanced with the 90Hz refresh rate. I must say the phone heats around the rear cam after an extended period of usage but not that it would cause an alarm. There's also the GameSpace app to even further enhance your gaming experience. You can access this by swiping the upper corner of the screen and it will show you various options such as the frames per seconds count, CPU and GPU consumption, screen record, and immersive mode to block out all notifications. For some numbers, we'll flash the benchmark scores now. Quickly on biometrics and security, the in-display fingerprint scanner and the face recognition work accurately and rapidly most of the time. We also like that the face recognition works even in a pitch black room. Yes, you heard that right. We get the usual features for connectivity including Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.1, dual frequency GPS, and NFC. And as you know, this phone is 5G ready but then again it will vary based on the availability of 5G in your area. We tested it in San Pablo, Laguna and it's still not yet available. Giving life to the Realme X50 Pro is a 4200mAh battery. For a smartphone of this caliber, we think that the battery capacity is not enough. The battery drains quite quickly, mostly if you use the 90Hz refresh rate as it is quite power hungry. We suggest that you lower the refresh rate if you want to prolong the battery life. Charging on the other hand is also really fast with the 65W Super Dart Fast Charger. From 0%, we were able to juice up the phone at 30% in just 20 minutes. It took less than an hour around 45 to 40 minutes to recharge the battery completely. That's fast. We ran it through PC Mark's battery test and the phone yielded 14 hours, while in our standard video loop test, we got a score of 15 hours and 10 minutes. Pretty average, we must say. Focusing on cameras, the Realme X50 Pro comes with a quad rear camera setup consisting of a 64 megapixel Samsung GW one main, a 12 megapixel telephoto, an 8 megapixel ultra wide that also functions as the macro lens, and a 2 megapixel black and white. Meanwhile, on its notches, we get a 32 megapixel Sony IMX616 front camera and an 8 megapixel ultra wide. As for camera features, it's packed with ultra nightscape, AI, portrait, 64 megapixel panorama, there's text scanner, and pro, among others. Now, for quality, the images produced are superb. They all have a great dynamic range and we love how crisp and sharp the details are. The colors are also on point and the AI mode doesn't boost the saturation that much, which we appreciate a lot. Even in a backlit environment, the camera performed really well. Shots from the ultra-wide lens also come with little distortion, while images from the telephoto lens also look equally good. And as expected, we can get sharp photos from the 64 megapixel lens, but the normal mode would do just fine. Here are a couple more shots. Don't even bother with low light because shots were also quite impressive. The ultra nightscape feature is no joke. Though it's not perfect, the images we got looks great. You can see how the surroundings stood out without having the lights look overblown. Apart from that, they look sharp and crisp too. We also tried taking pictures in a near pitch black room, and it was still able to produce pretty decent shots. Selfies also look good and we like that the skin tones look natural. For videos, it can shoot up to 4K at 60 frames per second, and you can shoot slow-mo videos up to 1080p. Do note that you cannot use the ultra-wide lens at 4K, which is pretty normal today. Its front cameras, on the other hand, can shoot up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Both the rear and the front features the UIS mode for stabilization, while the UIS Max mode is only applicable for the rear cameras. And quality-wise, it's terrific and sharp. The UIS performed well, and we barely 
noticed any shakes when we're shooting handheld. Video quality tends to downgrade a bit when shooting with the UIS Max mode on, so we recommend you use it in places with good lighting. But it still works great. The front camera's video quality is average and tends to suffer from finding the right exposure every now and then. Alright guys, we're down to our final thoughts. Just like its standard version, the Realme X50 Pro 5G is also a well-rounded device and a solid one for that matter. We get a 90Hz Super AMOLED display, a flagship processor, a large 12GB of RAM, and a great set of cameras, which we must say a lot of people would appreciate. And it's also 5G ready. If you can overlook some of its shortcomings like the screen burn-ins and average battery life, we think it deserves a spot as one of the best 5G-ready smartphones here in the country. It's currently available in postpaid at Smart Communications. You can get it at 1,899 pesos monthly at Smart Signature Plan 1,499 with a one-time cash out of 6,900 pesos and 400 pesos monthly amortization. It also comes with a pre-order promo from December 3 to December 10, 2020. For those who will avail the plan will get a free Realme watch worth 3,990 pesos. Availability of the device will be on December 11 onwards via smart signature plans both online and in stores. And that's it for now. What do you guys think of this Realme X50 Pro 5G? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yukatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.